Hey, what's up, guys? It's Christian from Chesapeake Training. I uh, just got back from cross-country practice. I'm a little sweaty. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm uh, getting ready for a green day, which is in about 30 minutes. Um, that's just what we called it here. It's basically a scheduled off-season practice uh, with coaches and players. Uh, but anyways, I just want to do a quick review of what I currently use. Um, I've got some stuff coming in the mail either later this week or depending on how the shipping guys feel it should be in but I uh, at the beginning of next week. Um, I am currently on the line of ordering a Blade Pro or a Warrior Jet or a OG Blade. Now, you know, uh, OG Blades aren't exactly the best head for your wallet, but uh, I've played with one before and they are an amazing face-off head. And I'm uh, thinking about playing Fogo and a Tac this year. Um, so, you know, uh, I've got to get some off-season training done. Uh, but I really, uh, I heard that OG Blades aren't exactly the best in cold weather. So I might just have to hold off on that and maybe stick to a Blade Pro for now just to, uh, you know, get uh, warmed up. Not warmed up, I'm sorry. But, you know, uh, ready, I guess. Uh, anyways, facing off an OG Blade is definitely easier than a Blade Pro. I, have, uh, I can tell just by facing off like once or twice. So, I mean, once I get the Blade Pro down, OG Blade should be a breeze. Uh, anyways, uh, let's get this little review on the road. Uh, let's start off with something with my stick. Uh, so here we have a Maverick... Oops, Maverick... A1 shaft, it's a really nice shaft. It's pretty cheap, $90. It comes with a bleed, bead blasted grip, sand paper grip. Uh, one con though, it does fade away after a decent amount of use. I've had this shaft for less than a year now, grip's already gone. I mean, it's not a huge deal for the shaft's lightness. It is probably one of the lightest shafts I've ever held in my hands. Uh, got a taped butt end here. Love this stuff. It gives me a lot of, you know, power in my shot. Just got a little piece of tape here for uh, marking passes and catching and shooting without looking. Um, and to top it off, I have a Brian Clutch Elite with a uh, mid high pocket. This is Max Wax Beast Mesh. Uh, if you guys don't aren't familiar with him, he is a uh, one of my supplier that lives in Loudoun County, so about 25 minutes away from me. Um, and uh, his mesh is fantastic. Um, really soft once it breaks in. Holds the pocket well. As you can see here, I got a really nice mid-high. It's kind of hard to see on camera. Hold on, give me a second. Very legal. Got a ball here. If you can see that. Anyways, uh, and... Uh, if you guys know who Greg Grinlian is, the Fogo specialist for the New York Lizards, he uses this mesh. Uh, very face-off friendly. Pops the uh, pocket right back into place. Scooping up that ball. But yeah, got a uh, 3.5U with a nylon set up here. Actually, not that much whip as you would expect out of a mid-high pocket. Uh, next, we got my helmet. I'm sure you guys have seen it. Cascade R. Tool colors, got some custom East Coast dyes decals on here. One on the back, American flag, just that's uh, Carolina colors and white. Chrome face mask, this is probably the most comfortable helmet I've ever put on my head. I think to follow up with that, we have the CPXR, which is probably the nicest. Uh, but yeah, ordered this about mm, two months ago. Yeah, great helmet. Uh, I think it's still $250 right now. Not exactly the cheapest, but it is well worth the uh, price you pay. So I would totally recommend this head. There, I'm sorry. Hold on. Next, we got my gloves. Some basic Warrior Mac Delights. I don't think they make these anymore, but uh, school colors, Carolina and white. Extremely comfortable, breaking very easily. And um, I mean, they're really protective for how light they are. Uh, this, these are 13s. I'm a 13. And I uh, took off the, uh, uh, I don't know how you call it, stringing, I guess. I hate that stuff. I just like this little cuff, that uh, Velcro cuff that it has. 
Anyways, these are $100 if your local store has them. I got them from Dick's. This is the last one they had. Picked them up. Uh, next, I got some cheap Brian Triumph elbow pads. These are $20 off lax.com. Uh, not bad for the price, really. Actually, I got these for free. A friend gave them to me. Uh, but I'm waiting until the actual season starts before I get my new arm pads because these work fine for now. I honestly don't like full arm arm pads. Uh, these cover, I mean, I guess a decent amount. These are more of a midfielder arm pad, I guess. I mean, I don't really like exactly that much protection. just kind of gets in the way. Uh, but I believe these are largest. I'm 165 pounds. And, uh, yeah, pretty flexible for the uh, for having an elbow cap here. So, I mean, they're not bad. I mean, for 20 bucks, you can't really beat it. So, Brian Triumph elbow pads. Uh, I'm sorry, elbow, yeah, elbow pads. Okay. Uh, and for my shoulder pads, we have Reebok 10K liners. Uh, they usually come with shoulder caps, but I cut those off once again with my hatred of uh, uh, excessive padding that I don't really need. I'm just getting rid of some of that. Uh, these are ridiculously good for the price that you pay. $30, slacks.com. Uh, really, really comfortable, light, and they have this, uh, I forgot what it's called, Grip Tonight technology that basically once you start sweating in it, it uh, sticks to your skin. Uh, running a little short on timer. Um, but yeah. Pretty protective for a liner. Uh, exactly. I mean, liners aren't exactly meant to be protective. Very lightweight. It's got the um, heart guard, I guess you would call it. Stopping any shots that get in the way. Uh, but yeah, I would definitely recommend these. I was debating on Nike, the new Nike Vapor. Shoulder liners that are coming out. Those look sweet. Uh, $80 though. Alright, next. My cleats. Uh, this isn't really a big deal. Might as well show it there. These are three-year-old Nike Landshark Lows. I believe these are like $35 now. I mean, it's, it's, their shoes are shoes. These are, I mean, decently light. I wear a size 11 and a half. Uh, sole is completely worn out. After three years of play, I mean, I can actually pull it out now. I'm not going to, though. Uh, I mean, if you're new to lacrosse or you're just on a budget, these are fine to go with. I'm saving up for some Hirachis or Vapor Elites. That's probably the next deal. That's some mud in here. Uh, but as far as traction goes, these are not metal. These are rubber. Uh, it's perfectly fine on turf and field. Uh, we we have a um, turf field, practice field, and game field now, so I don't really have to worry about traction. Uh, so that's about it. Um, I don't have the highest quality stuff. I'm not exactly a gear player. Um, but that's what I use for now. It's good stuff. So if you have any questions or comments about gear, uh, I'd be glad to answer them. I'll give you some recommendations for positions or well, whatever, you know. Uh, once again, if you need a head strong or if you need to buy a new head, I got some uh, heads that I will be shooting a video on probably either later tonight or tomorrow afternoon. Uh, but I don't have any pictures of them right now. I got an OG black clutch, uh, super light clutch, uh, and I got a Volt Surgeon and a Brian Elias X, and I sold my uh, white surgeon. I still have the white surgeon for the giveaway. No worries, don't panic. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't. Subscribe to Max Lax Strings. Uh, I'll put the link either here or in the description. Depends how I feel. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. I'll see you guys later.